hello friends how are you uh, hope all of you are doing good uh, so in this video i have uh, record i am recording this video very late night uh, i am uh, already on work but the uh, uh, looking at the significance that the exam and the placements are approaching so i thought of making an uh, important video on which are the important questions of java that you should be prepared for the majorly and uh, prominent and most branded companies which are coming uh, in the upcoming next weeks so uh, without wasting any time let's get started what are the questions that you should get prepared uh, first of all let me tell you that these questions i am providing you with the questions but later uh, after this sunday or on saturdays and sundays i will be providing answers to these questions as well so but uh, now i don't have time for making the answers uh, video also so please bear with me i am providing this uh, important questions to you so be prepared and after i started i start giving answers you uh, try to compare with it uh, because uh, as you know i am working a person so there is a huge crunch of time so i don't get time for making video you can see i, I am recording this video at uh, late uh, night 12 so please uh, so in this video basically i will be discussing not discussing i will be telling you the questions and you should prepare those questions from your notes you should uh, relate those questions to your project so let's get started so basically from where to start we will be starting from the basics so like uh, first of all we will take the uh, questions of object oriented programming and then later on we will be going in depth of course java so uh, your intern uh, interview might start in this way what are the object oriented concepts what is difference between object based object oriented and fully object oriented language so in this question you should be able to give the definition along with the examples from your notes and project don't go on the net and find so because interviewer is very clever that he will catch you on this so next question would be like what are the advantages of object oriented programming so you should be able to give a uh, illustrative answers with examples here uh, and quickly next question would be what is the class and object give real life examples so here uh, exam uh, interviewer will be checking the uh, depth of your knowledge and how much understanding do you have of object oriented programming the next question uh, sorry guys i will be bit hurry in uh, uh, taking the questions so i will be providing you answers but uh, hopefully i will be providing you answers by this saturday or sunday not now so let's go to the next question what are the characteristics of object explain them uh, so here uh, is uh, this question is related to objects not classes class then you create the object and object so what are the characteristics of that object means each object has its own properties and you should be able to link it with the all the four pillars what is the need of getter setter functions in the class uh, as you know we can directly set the variables but uh, what is the requirement of getters and setters uh, here uh, comes the things like uh, before setting the value of that variable if you want to do some manipulations then you can you go for the getters and setters so that is the uh, one liner uh, i am providing you just for the now uh, we will be going in depth later so next is what is the need of getter and setter functions in the class next question would be what is the abstraction and encapsulation give real life example and uh, guys please believe me these are very popular examples very popular questions you would be finding in each and every question each and every interview you will be finding these questions so next question would be what is uh, polymorphism what are its type explain them with example dynamic polymorphism static polymorphism you should be able to uh, give examples right from your project because this is widely used topic in the project then comes the most important what is function overloading which are the rules of function overloading why return type is not considered in function overloading you should be very clear with all the answers 
नेक्स्ट इज वॉट आर दी टाइप्स ऑफ हयर की वेन टू यूज विच वन हयर आर की मीन्स इनहेरिटेंस इट इज इनडायरेक्टली इंडिकेटिंग यू रिगार्डिंग द इनहेरिटेंस पार्ट वॉट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन फंक्शन ओवर लोडिंग एंड फंक्शन ओवर राइडिंग प्लीज बी श्योर अबाउट दिस ऑल द थिंग्स I will be providing answers, but please, guys, uh, sorry for that. I won't be, uh, I won't be uh, like. उतनी देर तक तो मैं जगा हुआ नहीं रह सकता. Already बारह बज चुके मुझे कल office भी जाना है. So please try to understand. Uh, what is object slicing? This is not much asked, but you should be prepared. Object slicing. Explain object slicing in context of up casting. What is down casting and when it is required? Very popular question. What do you know about association, composition, aggregation? Explain with the help of example. Uh, next question is: What are the different types of inheritance? Example. Uh, explain with the help of example. What are the problems with multiple inheritance? So, if there is uh, one object and multiple objects are getting inherited from it, multiple inheritance means basically one class is inheriting two different classes. so that is the thing and uh, now coming to design pattern explain singleton design pattern at least you should know the singleton design pattern i got a bit confused uh, uh, about this inheritance problem with multiple inheritance uh, now i am not able to uh, recall the exact example but uh, we will discuss this question later uh, now coming to the little bit core java section now starting with the wrapper class so, uh, what is wrapper class what is their use as you know guys you have studied java so you should be comfortable in this uh, questions answering these questions uh, which are the methods of java dot lang dot object class which are native methods of the object class uh, you should be aware of native methods mostly i think uh, these methods are written in the c uh, what is the need of package very important which types are allowed to declare in the package why we cannot declare multiple public classes in single dot java file what is difference between import and static import very important question this would be asked multiple of time multiple times in multiple of in uh, interviews how can we pass argument to the method by reference explain with example this question is popular in the c++ but you should know answer in java this question has particular answer in java so you should be thorough with it what is the difference between checked and unchecked exceptions so then uh, means uh, which are uh, raised during the compile time which are uh, raised after compilation or run time uncheck uh, i'll give you hint un n means run run time exception n Un run, yes. Uh, which are the advantages and disadvantages of generics? Generic uh, questions. It is rarely asked, but you should be prepared. And what is difference between comparable and comparator? Before going to comparable comparator, you should be aware of uh, lambda functions because mostly we use lambda function there. Otherwise, uh, comparator and comparable uh, would be a bulky function there. what is difference between array list vector how to use list iterator uh, actually vector is outdated but still you should know the comparison between array list and vector what is fail fast fail safe iterator what is serialization and deserialization what is significance of serial version uid next uh, is what is relationship between thread start and run method so when we create the uh, threads uh, we first start the thread and when the thread when uh, when we start the process that thread dot start process get started and after starting the process what to run that part is written in the run method when we uh, should create the thread by implementing runnable and extending thread class so these are the two uh, methods by which we create the thread so you should know when we create it by runnable and when we create it by extending the thread class 
what is functional interface which functional interface are predefined and where they are used uh, then the last question i would uh, uh, tell you is the what is significance of filter map flat map reduce operations uh, these questions are not only popular in the java but these questions you would be able to see in the javascript as well uh, most popularly you would have uh, come across dot dot map and dot filter function in the react applications in which scenarios they are used so thank you guys these are the java questions um, i am busy but i want you to get uh, prepare till i provide you answers because uh, for me providing you the answers it would take time but uh, as you are already in the flow so you please prepare for it thank you uh, any things which uh, i need to which i need to add in the uh, my answers or any content that i need or whichever the important questions guys if you prepare these questions around 80% interview is over there itself be thorough, thorough with these questions these are the most popular most asked questions thank you guys thank you a um, happy weekend not weekend uh, season of placement so don't wait for uh, my answers i will be giving you answers but uh, that would be helpful for the next batch because i will be preparing answer then making video so it would be taking time it is not a quick process so thank you guys all the best